So I'd like to focus in this video on the, the kind of the junction, it's like a three-way junction between the latissimus dorsi muscle tissue, the serratus anterior muscle tissue, and the external oblique muscle tissue. You might not have known that they have like a, a convention going on on the side of your body. But the reason why I want to focus on it, as much as that is interesting just in terms of the musculature, is because it's also a place where it's really clear how the nerves are kind of, I want to say, stitched through the body. I have this sense of the nervous tissue through my whole career as I've encountered it, that it's that the way it's it's as if like a divine tailor <laughs> has passed a needle and thread through the body and sewn the biological fabrics together. Uh, that's what it seems like to me. Uh, call it call it a story, and and yet there's some truth in the story in terms of the structural component that the nervous tissue represents as it passes through the muscle tissues and all the other tissues of the body. So come on down and have a look at Captain's left side here. We've moved his arm out a little bit so that you can see the, the course of this beautiful uh, latissimus dorsi here. I don't know, can you peek around and see the silvery ribbon here? So the latissimus dorsi is quite thin at the top and comes into this beautiful silvery band. And then it, it's, latissimus means most broad muscle dorsi of the back. So it's the most broad muscle of the back, but it's at its thinnest and least broad point at its insertion here up by the, by the humerus. You can see that pretty silver. And then it comes down here and, and is all, all going all the way down to your sacrum in its lower tendinous portion. So yes, your arm, is connected to your sacrum through your latissimus dorsi. That's something you can ponder as a koan for the rest of the day. But uh, here we have our external obliques, right, sweeping along this way, this outer layer of the abdominal wall musculature on the lateral side of the body. And here we have the beautiful feathers of the, of the serrations of the serratus anterior, right? So serratus anterior, latissimus dorsi, external oblique. You see they all come together right here. That's kind of a rich spot. It's just interesting. But do you see the way that the latissimus dorsi appears to be kind of hung? It's like it's hung on the sidewall of the body. And what do we have here but a lateral, you know, a, a lateral cutaneous nerve branch coming from one of the intercostal segments uh, and and literally stitching the latissimus dorsi over here to the uh, between the uh, serratus anterior serration and the serrations of the external oblique. I don't know. That's evocative to me when I look at it, and maybe it is to you too, of the way in which the nerves uh, are functioning uh, not only as communication transmission zones or pathways, but also as structural elements, right? And that which tie other sundry elements together in the form. And I think that Captain is just doing a stellar job at showing off this beautiful feature of our bodies, which we all have. And it's also something to remember if you decide, yeah, this would be a cool place to work on this junction, that you're also noodling on a cutaneous nerve, which, you know, are soft and move around, but also it's kind of bound in there by the deep fascia, so it has its uh, a, a somewhat fixed path, although it also has differential movement relative to the other tissues at the same time. So just sort of take that in and make of it what you want. Uh, I just see it as a demonstration of uh, beauty, <laughs> but also of the structural uh, com com component that the nerves contribute to our form. Thanks, Captain. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.